Hey everybody, welcome to another GMAT explanation. Let's go ahead and get started by defining the question. And that's right here, least possible score a team could have earned. If we want to make something have the least, then we need to make the others have the most. So let's go ahead and set this up. And let's just break it down by teams. So we've got three teams. And each team has three uh, members. And so you could kind of, I don't know, maybe we could do the members as A, B, and C for each team. And now we want to make team one and team two have the most points possible, so team three has the least points. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this. We want these guys to have the most so that team three has the least, and we got to respect that you can't have more than six points. So let's give first place to um, the first member of team one, and that would mean this. And then we only have one more point to give to team one because we can't go above six. So that would be fifth place. And then we can't have any more, more points for team one. So let's go ahead and, and give team one ninth place, which would be zero points. So team one's all set, got the maximum of six points. Now let's try to do the same thing for team two. Just keep it easy. Let's give second place to the first guy on team two. And then we've got two more points left to give. So fourth place will get that done for us. And then same thing. We don't want any more points, or we can't have any more points. So let's give eighth place, and that's zero. You don't get any points for those. And now we just put um, whatever's left for team three. So team three has to have third place. And then team three is also going to have sixth and seventh, which both uh, give you zero. Takeaways. Be practical. Don't expect to know exactly what's going on right away. Use the information from the question. Use the constraints to kind of build, um, build out the setup. And through that process, you're going to make the inferences that will get you to the answer. And I'd also say, just in general, I mean, this applies everywhere, but really take your time with the setup. Make it organized, right? We, we, we split out our teams. We split out the members of the teams, right? We didn't rush that setup. And uh, make sure you don't rush the follow through either. Like when you're doing the simple arithmetic, this stuff, again, take your time. Could be that if you like push yourself to go faster, you will save a few seconds here and there, but the cost of making a mistake is going to be much greater than those few seconds that you save. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to stay up to date with new content. Good luck on your GMAT, and we'll see you next time.